Hi, welcome to Robot Culture. I'm your host, Kevin Isley. Today, we're gonna to talk about my one year review of my Sweet Protection Falconer helmet. Last year for the UCI World Championship 2017 race, my friends and I went to Bergen, Norway. While hanging out with the Pondermal people, we met the guys from Sweet Protection. Christian, who's in charge of marketing for the company, was telling me all about their new helmet. And I was like, this looks like a really super cool helmet. And he was like, well, we can sell you this for a really good price. And they sold it to me for about $50. And then I met Thomas Rode, who was the industrial designer who created the Falconer helmet. He gave me a really good interview. And if you wanna see that interview, check out the link below and you'll learn more about the company and his ideas for coming up with this road helmet. So here it is, the Falconer helmet. Still not available in the United States. It's a really cool helmet, I like it. My favorite feature is the fact that you can take off the arrow part of the helmet, which are called arrow covers, and you have a highly ventilated helmet. This is a really cool aspect of this helmet. And as you can see, they come in different colors. I know they come in clear, dark, yellow, and pink. I have yellow and I have dark. I prefer the yellow, I think it pops better in the pictures. So I've been wearing this helmet for a little over a year now, and I do like it for the most part. I think aesthetically, it's the most unique helmet out on the road, at least here in the United States. I love the fact that you can take off the aero covers and have a well-ventilated helmet. This is particularly nice in a city like San Francisco, where in the summer, it's 55 degrees, foggy, windy, wet, cold. So, you leave the city, you ride across the Golden Gate Bridge, you get into Marin, Sausalito's about 70 degrees, and the deeper you go into Marin, it gets up into the mid 80s. I leave the aero covers on in the city and I take them off once I'm in Marin. This is a really cool concept for an area like San Francisco, and I absolutely love it. The design of this helmet is very futuristic looking and I do like that. I even had a woman in a cafe in Marin asked if my helmet was solar powered. I don't know why I would need a solar powered helmet, but she thought it was because of the yellow vent covers. Just the design of the vent covers, I think is very good looking. And when Thomas came up with the idea to put magnets on here, so it comes off very easily and snaps back in, it's a stroke of genius and the simplicity of it is absolutely perfect. The back of the helmet, well vented, and I think it looks really sharp as well. I like white helmets, although this does come in a gray color. But now let's get down to the comfort aspect of a helmet, which is the most important part part of a helmet. This helmet is not the most comfortable helmet I've ever worn. I think they went cheap on the inside of the helmet. The part that tightens up on your head has zero padding. It is hard plastic as you can see here. And these two little nubs that attach the end part of the helmet to the fastener, they stick out a little bit too far and with no padding over a long ride, you start feeling them digging into your head. Not very comfortable. I've ridden with it for a year. Not every ride is uncomfortable, but some are. If you're somebody who likes to wear a cycling cap under the helmet, you will not notice this and it will be fine. This helmet is not yet available in the United States, but when I look online, I can see that its price point is between $210 and $300. I think this is an excessive price for a helmet that has very little comfort on the inside. The sweatband is very small, as you can see here. It is thin and it does not do anything to keep the sweat out of your glasses and your eyes. This, again, is I think the company going a little bit cheap. They do have an expected launch date of 2019 and I hope when that day comes I would recommend silicon implants right here where it would attach to the back of your head. Cask Helmets does this and it's a really comfortable helmet. But in the end, I do like this helmet for so many reasons. It is great for a city like San Francisco. I think you get a lot of ventilation when you take the aero covers off. And when you have the aero covers on, it holds in a lot of heat. So I think when this helmet comes to market in the US, I hope they do silicon implants on the back of it to keep it a little more cozy as you put your helmet on nice and snug. Because as we all know, when you hit and your head hits the ground, you slide and you don't want that helmet sliding around. So you got to put it on pretty snug. And I think silicone implants are the key to this helmet. If that's the case, and they do put something comfortable on the back of it, this helmet definitely reaches the $210 to $300 price point, in my opinion. Well, I think that just about covers it. My one year review of the Sweet Protection Falconer helmet. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I'm everywhere, people. And until the next time, I hope to see you out there on the road.